This man goes from working on one thing to working on the next. It's ridiculous. It really is. <laughs> Literally chops a tree down, which I'm going to show that footage right here. All right, he's decided these trees are going bye-bye. You have a safety belt on? No, they're supposed to give it, you're supposed to get it from them. <laughs> so he already had a mishap this morning. This isn't his line of work, but I guess. He had a branch twist on him. He had a branch twist on him and rip his new saw out of his hand. And he had to go get a new belt. Apparently in our county, you don't have to have a permit to do this. And if he goes slow, watch, it'll just crunch. So now <laughs> he's been cutting up the logs to keep putting into the fire, which I'll show that right now. And all of a sudden he's starting to tell me that he doesn't want his nephew to come help him because he doesn't want him to do what? What is it you said you didn't want him to do? I was cutting the logs like with the grain and it was throwing these really long strips of uh, wood and it was getting caught up in there so I was watching it and cleaning it out but I guess I don't know what happened the clutch got burned up but I told her I didn't want him to do it because I didn't want him to burn the clutch up not even 30 seconds later I burned the clutch up <laughs> Anyway, so we'll get back to this here in a minute, but for now we're going to show what's going on with the boat I lately. Mean, this thing is seized in there. Oh, oh lordy. Alright, so it was Christmas 2020 that we were, the last clips that I just played, minus the carburetor, which was like two weeks before. So I stuck the carburetor video in there so they could see. So now we're New Year's um, weekend. It's been a week later, which you only get the weekend to work on it. <laughs> well, thank, thank God we've had two, three-day weekends. Yeah. But so, believe, so what? Catch us up with what you've been doing this morning. I believe God's working on me. Yeah, both patience, yes. <laughs> patience and self-control. Yeah, <laughs> we we both need that. <laughs> but uh, I guess basically where I'm at now. Thankfully, our, our neighbor, or two doors down, he's actually a Yamaha master mechanic, so he kind of helped me out and directed me a little bit. But, so basically, I was worried about the tank, and he showed me there's a little check valve right on top of the tank, and he goes, well, you can just punch that out, and he goes, more than likely, that's your problem. I'm like, okay, cool. So I take the seat out, and I pull all this stuff out and get to the top of the tank, and then uh, I pull the, the check valve out, and the ball's already been punched out. We're like, man, that ain't it. So we, we keep working and working and working. I put a brand new fuel pump in it. 
I put all brand new filters on. I didn't even put the filters on. I took the actual housings out and made sure all the housings were flowing. I made sure, like, every, just like I said in, at the beginning of the video, I physically went from A to B to C to D to G to E to F all the way up to the thing. And we were still having a problem. And uh, first thing, I had bought a brand new primer bulb. And uh, he went down to his house and got the primer bulb off his boat. And uh, over here... Which was on a Yamaha, right? Yeah. Which is actual... My fuel filter was sucking down like this, and it just what it the, the fuel would just suck down as it ran. So we put the new primer bulb. We took my new primer bulb off and put his on, and that would stay level. It wouldn't. So my primer bulb was bad. My brand new primer bulb. Yeah, was a forty dollar primer bulb yeah, was bad. But it still wouldn't run. So we took the. I bought a uh, fuel pump from Amazon. It was a third party fuel pump, and. Uh, we took the fuel pump off. I turned it over and over and made sure I had a, a crank kick case pressure going in and out. We did. We had good suction and good pressure coming out. And then we took the, the fuel pump apart. And that fuel pump, the... Uh, the uh, but it was like a second-hand China yeah, version. it wasn't a Yamaha. It was just like a whatever. But the rubber on the inside of it, the diaphragm, was thick all the way across. And it was a really thick diaphragm. And it had like a bubble in it. And we're like, this probably isn't good. So I put it back together and we, we put it back on. I filled the whole system full of fuel and then I, I just took the hose off at the top of the uh, fuel pump and we started turning the engine over and it wasn't pumping any fuel out at all. So I, I went and I backtracked and this time I bought everything Yamaha. And from here forward, yeah, <laughs> it'll be all Yamaha because that sucks when you're working yeah. on it. You put a brand new part on it and you're thinking the part's good and you're sitting yeah. there chasing your tail. you know. So I bought a, I bought a Yamaha primer bulb I bought a Yamaha uh, fuel pump, and everything on this thing, I, this is Yamaha, everything's Yamaha. I put uh, new, uh, while well, I had it apart, I put new uh, thermostats in it. Eventually, I'm going to pull the heads off and get to the anoids, anodes, an however you say it, and do that, but one problem at a time. Well, actually, <laughs> one problem at a time. Let's just get the stupid so, thing going down the river. So, did our the bottom of our motor fall off? No, I figured <laughs> I got it apart, I might as well. He, he was telling me, he goes, there's an impeller in there. And he goes, if that impeller comes apart, it just it'll go all through your whole entire engine, all through the cylinders and heads. And so things. let's go look at that. But like what I was saying, so that impeller, once it gets old, it can actually start to chunk and come apart, and it'll lodge rubber all through your your uh, cooling system. So I'm like, oh, I don't need that. So I went ahead and took the took the drive off, and that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Is <laughs> replacing the impeller. But uh, we're gonna do that. And well, let's go show the the other piece you were talking about. Okay. We're walking back to the shed, and I just have to show you. This is the tree that we cut down. The two trees he cut down, and he's got the air blowing on it, so you so it just blows. Oh, it does faster. So look at this. <laughs> We've got. Look at that thing. That's a roaring. That's a roaring fire. And our neighbors are going to hate us because it's, he's blowing it right into their yard away from the house. Yeah, but that's, that's a hot fire. It ain't a little smoky. <laughs> so, here again, he's always inventing something. He's got, what is this piece called? The lower unit of the drive, you said? Yeah. Okay. Unit. So he's got, <laughs> he was saying that he sees people struggling with it on a, on a desk. Well, they got it, you know, laid over on a bench, and I seen another video where they were doing a big giant out drive, and they had it on a forklift, and I'm like, that got me thinking, so I just went out He made his own forklift. Yeah, three bucks. <laughs> Look at that. And it holds it nice. He just, he just attached two pieces, <laughs> slid it right in there, and this, this is what he's been doing. Yeah, so. So here, do you want to take the this and show them the pieces like that? Oh, uh, I just replaced an impeller. There's like 40,000 videos on how to replace an impeller. So. so this is what it looks like on the inside? Mm. Was there anything in all this? I think that's the exhaust. That's no man's land. Uh, this is the actual speedo, but it's been cut off. And then the uh, water pump. Oh, wow. Simple stuff. So yeah, he, this, he had this apart this, uh, earlier. This whole, I'm... I'm I'm excited at how simple these things really are. Like, yeah, he's been learning all kind of stuff. I was uh, worried that I was going to get in over my head, but uh, these mo these things are. I don't know how the four strokes are, but these two strokes are like dead simple. Like, don't be scared to tear into it. Yeah. It's easy stuff. But hopefully, uh, 
we'll be on the river either tonight or tomorrow. If I get this thing together and this thing runs, I don't care if it's one in the morning. We're going to the river. <laughs> We're going to the river at one a.m. Hawking it's all lit morning. up. Yeah, I don't the boat ramp's yeah, all we got, lit up. We got headlights too. Oh, we do. We have bright, bright headlights. <laughs> Everybody all right, on so... the river ain't gonna be able to flash this to tell us to turn them off. <laughs> That's true. They'll be waving their hands. We'll be like, "Hi, how are you?" <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this putting this back together, but I, I don't see the shift for it, so I don't understand that. I guess that ain't. I, so I some, guess... this is the speedometer. Like what? That's why there's a GPS on it telling you. The, the GPS now tells us the, yeah, the these, speed. These things aren't accurate anyway. So, uh, the GPS is way more accurate. Like, uh, that, I don't know. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, he's putting it back together. Okay. He said, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this. Oh, you got it in? That was way too easy. Way too easy. Oh no. Alright, so he's saying he wants to... He pulled the boat out so we could fire it up. Put that thing back on. The lower drive, whatever it's called. And he said he found another problem. What's this one? This is leaking. What is that? Oh, the um, primer bulb? No, it's a quick disconnect. Quick disconnect. It's going to be disconnected. Quickly. Uh -oh. Quickly. <laughs> Disconnected. Bloop. So now what? Um, I think I got a piece of hose. I'm just, can I run a piece of hose here? <laughs> All right, we'll check back in a second. Hello, Figgy. Are you coming to help Daddy? Are you going to help him put it back together? We may, yeah. I, I may need to buy another one because I think it might keep gas from going back in show the, the piece what you're talking about so well, what's be a, the problem a one-way one check valve it's leaking uh -oh. so and if that's a one-way check valve then uh so you're just running hose through and yeah we're just gonna do one piece of hose hopefully i hope i got enough Watching his face to see what he, cause he can literally hear things. Well, you gotta sit down and think about it a minute. Loading up, smoking so like crazy. Good? Trying to read you, we think it, something's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Great! It runs. <laughs> Says he doesn't think the needle jetting is quite right. What my, is my needle jet in my bowl? Needle jet in the bowl. I'm trying to interpret this. I don't know if you can hear or not. That's what's 
to look like? So on my semi, it's a clear filter and the fuel will stay real low. And as the filter clogs, the fuel will rise up the filter. Because as because the fuel's down here at the bottom, as the filter clogs up, the fuel will rise a little, you see what I'm saying? So the fuel goes up as the filter clogs. So I don't know if this it look we'll see here. What are you listening for right now? I'm waiting to see what the filter is. stop and eat some lunch he hasn't eaten all right so how's it running or is it running it runs it runs okay it's just not like right so I'm gonna pull the carburetor back off of it and make sure my floats are right and put it back together the floats look good and nothing make sure my little epoxy job didn't fall apart and just make sure everything I did everything right just double check it only takes 20 minutes to pull the carburetor off so it only take 20 minutes now they're almost off. Oh, okay. I just need to cut two fuel lines and pull eight bolts and they're off. Okay, no. we'll eat fast then. <laughs> eat fast. <laughs> I was inside and I heard him firing it up. We got a thumbs up. What was that about? Perfect. Really? Oh, yeah. We're running good now. Whoa, what happened to the top? your fault um remember i was talking about the two different carburetor kits that you can get for it and all yeah. that good stuff well i guess the other carburetor kit was the right one i took and measured the actual uh bowl seats and they measure okay but when you set them down in there and i measured from the top of the seat down to the plate of the carburetor mm -hmm. there was ten thousandths difference between the two so i put the old jets wow. back in old seats back in it and it runs perfect. You're so that, kidding. Nope, that's what it was. was it? <laughs> it runs great now. Does that mean we get to take it on the water? Yeah, I'm, <gasps> I'm ready. I'm that, so excited. I, I, I'm For so, real? Like I can go get ready to go? I'm so excited I found that. Like, <laughs> Such a relief, huh? Yeah, that's that was that have been, because when you measured, I measured the two seats before I put them in there. I'm like, oh, they're the same size. But for whatever reason, I don't know the rubber cup is different. Something's different on the... Uh, this, the uh, I don't know what to call it the uh, the uh, float seat so I think the rubber cup might be just enough difference so it sits down in there and then the bowl the float can't pick the seat up high enough to let enough gas through so that ten thousandths was enough to make a big difference like a huge difference all right well, we'll see everybody on the water huh yeah, we're, we're, call Jason let's rip cool. But it sounds 
good? Like you yeah. like the way it sounded on the way in? Dude, as soon as I started the boat, after I changed those, uh, those uh, float needles, yeah, I, I immediately knew. Like, you could hear it. Yeah, it was like, that's it. <laughs> that's good, Idol. He's saying this is good uh, idle. He brought it up a, a tad. He gets a little choppy. He's a little choppy into them. All right, we're gonna wait till it gets super dark. It's almost there, almost sunset. We're gonna try out the lights. See the bow. Yeah, the bow's lit up. It needs to be. They need to be further out. Alright, so we got the lights and apparently we're going to need some sort of extension rod because see the glare? It was really bad and then he went up there and turned them out. So it's too dark to see, but well you can see now we're lighting up the lily pads. That would be pitch black. Hear the bird? Listen to 